I'll give the floor to the observer of the International Institute for Democracy and Electoral Assistance. Mr. Vice, Vice President, Excellencies, International IDEA welcomes the proposals put forward on our common agenda on the need to deliver on the three goals of the Paris Agreement, to scale up the contribution of non-state actors to climate action and to take account of the interest of future generations in national and global decision making. Democratic governance plays a fundamental role for the attainment of this agenda. Climate change poses a great challenge for democracy and its endurance. If greenhouse gas emissions are not reduced and global warming kept within the targets set in the Paris Agreement, the impact on populations, infrastructure, and nature will be dire, while governing systems and democratic frameworks will be brought under severe stress. Global warming is expected to cause natural disasters, which could potentially lead to significant social conflict and institutional collapse. Democracies are under pressure from populism, disinformation, inequality, and voter frustration, according to International Ideas 2021 Global State of Democracy Report. They are also afflicted by a crisis of self-confidence. However, a misleading narrative portrays liberal democracies as lumbering and too divided to cope with big challenges and extols the presumed ability of authoritarian systems to act decisively. Indeed, democracies do suffer from vices when it comes to slow-burning crises like global warming, but they are still more effective in dealing with climate change challenges. It is true that voters and politicians have short attention spans. Balances of power means reforms can be held hostage to vested interests or oil lobbyists. Science can play second fiddle to voters if it entails higher taxes. And yet, despite all this, the facts are clear. Nine, and nine out of the 10 top performers in the 2021 Climate Change Performance Index are democracies. While it is clear that the attributes of democracy are potentially superior to deal with climate change, it is much less clear that they will be actually deployed with the celerity required. Democratic governance, uh, parliaments, political leaders, and non-state actors must, must dramatically increase the pace of their actions if our species is to avoid disaster. Studies show that democracies are improving their performance in long-term policies, for instance, on climate action and on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Institutional changes, such as the adoption of climate legislation and advisory bodies, and activities within democracies, such as the youth-driven climate movement and processes of climate litigation, have made them even less vulnerable to short-termism. We must embrace this agenda for the sake of the planet. After all, a majority of the top emitters of greenhouse gases are democratic countries. But just as importantly, we must embrace it for the sake of democracy's future. The climate crisis is the sternest challenge democracy will ever face. If democracies do not rapidly deploy their considerable assets in this struggle, the pressure to deal with the problem in, in, uh, in authoritarian ways will prove irresistible. Our planet will lose out, and, we, uh, and so will our human condition. I thank you. Muchas gracias. Thank you, ID International, for your statement. Now we give the floor to the International Seabed Authority. Thank you very much, Mr. Vice President. And it's a great pleasure to contribute to this thematic uh, 